show you how to paint a couple of water droplets onto a leaf. I'm going to use this fine small chisel brush. It's a synthetic chisel usually used for oil or acrylic painting and it'll just be a little bit more abrasive than a sable brush. What you want to do is put a droplet of water onto the leaf so you've got something to copy and I'm going to put one down here and all I do is just irritate away some of the paint from that part of the petal. A couple of times should do it just so it's nice and pale. This one's going to be dripping down off the leaf so it's going to leave a little trail behind it. Then I'm going to put another one over here just sitting on top. So a couple of little circles or sort of ellipses there really. Now let that dry and while that's drying I'm going to mix up a very dark green using indigo. Now we can use indigo for this because it's paint on paint if you like so we're painting onto a finished painting rather than onto white paper so indigo is safe to use. So this is cadmium yellow pale and indigo. These are all Windsor and Newton colours. And then I'm going to add just a little touch of cadmium red deep. So the first thing to do is to get the shadow around the base of the water droplet. So I'm just going to put a very small outline around the oval that I made. And obviously the intensity of this will depend on how strong the light is and the light's very strong on this so I'm now going to just soften around that with the tip of a damp brush. Very gently soften around it so that it gives a softer look to that shadow and do the same to the other one. I'm going to make it a little bit finer on the top and then deeper where it hits the leaf. I'm going to put a little bit alongside the trail that it's left. And then with the tip of the brush just soften and sweep that away till it disappears. It's very important now at this stage to let that completely dry before you go on to the next stage. And when you're happy that it's totally dry, just check it with your fingertip, then what you do is you pick out a very small highlight. This would be at the top where the light's catching the drip. And I'm going to pick out another little light at the bottom. Just a couple of little flicks. You've got to be absolutely sure that you don't need to put any more paint on before you do this. I'm going to put one more little highlight just above that. So there's two lights hitting this one. Just a quick little flick like that with your blade. Obviously if you paint over this, the paint will sink into the little damage that you've just created and you won't be able to remove it. So it has to be the very, very last thing that you do. And that's it.